this is Karen. Welcome to another Doolaly Crafts. Um, now, we're getting closer to Christmas, so the Friday Frenzies will include some of my Christmas cheer ones. So, to start off today's, the stamp sets we are going to be using are tin of tags for all of the fantastic um, sayings that they've got on there. They're really good for the front of cards, not just for tags. And of course, our cookie cutter Christmas will be used on this one as well. Now, to save time, I've already stamped ahead of time. So, for um, the teddy bear, he's already put together. Um, I do have to punch out a couple of things. So, I will be using my cookie cutter punch. Now, you can buy those two in a bundle and save 10% on the purchase price, which is fantastic. And as mentioned in one of my other videos, this punch can actually be used with another of our stamp sets, which has been put together for a Halloween, which is ideal for making little boys or little girls birthday cards as well, if they like horror um, and they're really big on like vampires, mummies, anything like that. Um, so it, this is a great bundle to buy and then you can add on with the, um, I think it's called Cookie Cutter Halloween, but I'm not sure. I'll put it at the bottom um, while I'm editing this film. Anyway, let's get on with the card. For this, we need some real red. We need um, a real red cardstock. We need, um, it's not chocolate chip, it's early espresso cardstock. We've got some Whisper White. I've got some of the... Um, Oh, Candy Cane Lane Christmas DSP. And as I said, I've already put together our little teddy bear. I've got some silver glimmer paper and a couple of strips more of the Candy Cane Lane. I've already got my block prepared with my Christmas stamp, actually. Is this the right one? No, that's not the stamp I'm using for this card. I'm using this one which says, spread some Christmas cheer. Okay, I will show you the card that we're actually making today. It's this one. As you can see, I haven't cut the stamp in half. We're going to use some washi to divide the sentiments. And so we will be using some Versamark and some of the um, white emboss Whisper White embossing powder. Um, so yeah, let's get on with making the card. Okay. To start off with, we will put all of our little square pieces together. So out comes the snail. Isn't it funny? I've noticed not only in my own card making videos, but in others as well. Even when you've got a, a, a plain piece of cardstock, be it Whisper White, Early Espresso, Real Red, whatever, when it's sitting on the board like that, you pick it up turn it over and put the glue on the back instead of just putting the glue on the front. It just stri strikes me as funny every time I see somebody doing it and then I start doing my own videos and do exactly the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Now probably every time you see somebody else's video and they do that, you're going to think, Aha, I know what she means. Okay, we'll put our little teddy bear on. So we get a couple of... Um, dimensionals and just stick them here. Now I stamped our Christmas teddy in crumb cake and did the same with his ears and the ears were put on with a couple of glue dots that were folded over just to get a, give a little bit of dimension. So we'll just pop him on like so. Okay we will fold our onto the card now. We'll fold our real red over and give it a nice scoring with the score tool, uh, with the bone folder, sorry. And now what we need to do, we're going to have three strips of this. Now I have another piece cut out somewhere. Here we go. They're all probably 12 by 12 anyway, but might not be because I have been using a lot of this paper and I might have turned it round the wrong way. So what I do, I'm lining it up on my grid mat here, 
if my head gets in the way I apologise and then I find the centre so we know that's the centre there because it's 10 centimetres so just pop some snail on it and just make sure that's lined up halfway between this line here would be dead centre so we pop that there grab another one and we find the centre of this one and do exactly the same thing and then with the third one whoops get it the right way here we go and skip a line and then down to that one and there we go. That's those three pieces of ears. Just get my scissors and trim these extra pieces off. Obviously, it wasn't a 12 by 12 piece because they're only about four inches or three inches long. So I'll just pop those aside because I'll use those later. Okay, so we've got that bit done. Now, the glimmer paper. Same thing. And then we just pop that Cross. Oops, just put some there because I haven't done long enough on there, so I'll trim that one off. And I know this one is 12 by 12, so another piece, and that one goes across like that. There we go. Card's almost finished, aren't we? Doing well. Okay, we don't need that piece. Bring in a piece. Now I did have a roll of old washi here. So what we'll do is cover up the Christmas on the stamp. Whoops, it's sliding off because it's... There we go. So just so that we get all the snowflakes in. Bring the verse mark in very carefully. Just verse mark half of the stamp and then bring it up. Whoops, take the washi off, otherwise, you'll end up with um, verse mark all over the paper as well. So bring that up and just stamp that. Put the spread some. Here we go, that looks fantastic. Bring in my stamp and scrub, and I've already got plenty of scrub there, so I'll give that a really good clean to get all of the Versa mark off. Bring in our washi again, and then cover up the sum bit. There we go. So we know we've got Christmas cheer ready to go. So I get plenty of verse mark on that. And then we put Christmas cheer round the right way. Down the bottom there. There we go. And I've just realised I I'm going to end up with stuff everywhere with this one because I forgot to use my non-stick pad. Damn. Sorry. And it's too late now, so you'll just have to bear with me when I make a complete another utter mess of this. Verse mark that's stuck to it. Well, we'll hope. So a little bit of... whisper white there. Turn it round. I always forget it and it's sitting right in front of me so you'd wonder how. Okay that one's not too bad that side. Just put a little bit more over the Christmas cheer because I can see it's looking a bit hollow there. Okay push some of it off over a paintbrush at the moment but unfortunately mine's gone walkabout so we'll just try and
get some of that off there. Okay, that will have to do. So we'll just, I'll fast forward this bit. Okay, we'll just let that cool down for a minute. Just straighten it out a little bit. It does curl a little bit with the heat gun, but as you can see, um, it does. you can flatten it out again once it cools down a bit. Okay, almost finished this one. It didn't turn out too badly. I did take the top off the H there a little bit, but other than that, it looks okay. So here we're going to... Why did I pop that on first? really is not turning out to be such a great card. Okay, so this one's going to be a bit cockeyed as well. <laughs> See, you'll still find all the mistakes on my videos. It's going to come off. Okay, there we go. So we'll just pop that one on. About... So the teddy's not totally lopsided. We'll just make that one a little bit lopsided. And there we go. Okay. All we need now is to put his little heart on his sleeve and his um, bow. Instead of stamping the bow, I might just punch it out of some of this leftover paper. As you can see, it fits there perfectly. So we'll pop his little bow on. And we need a little red heart. So we'll do that out of this as well. May as well use all these scraps that I didn't realise were going to be too small for another card. So out with a little bit of glue, a fine tip glue pen. And we will just pop a little bit, bit of glue on the back there. Pop that just there. And the same with the heart. Whoops, a little bit of a little bit too much glue there, I feel. A little heart on the side there. And just to give it a bit of shine. A little bit on his bow and a little bit on his heart. See, now this is where I have the problems. My eyesight is fading fast. Hey, finally! Okay, I've got glue all over my fingers. I'm the messiest crafter you'll ever come across. Use a little bit of this paper just to see if we can get some of that glue off. And just... There we go. Okay. Alright, well, there's two cards. Maybe I did stuff up a little bit with that one. But I still don't think it looks too bad. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this card. If you'd like to um, get all the measurements and everything, you can go to my blog. Um, you can purchase any of the cardstock or um, materials used in this card from my online shopping cart. 